We're at the depot. The depot, I tell you, in Denny. Same place where they do the ute muster. And we stumbled upon this place. It's straight out of the 50s. It look great. It's like a car museum, a memorabilia museum. We seem to be seeing a lot of museums lately. <laughs> Is that our age? <laughs> Maybe we belong in a museum. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, let the pictures speak for themselves. It's pointless me talking to you. These are all privately owned by the looks of them, cars that have been done up for show and so on. Oh, look at that. The old um, um, drive-in speakers. Yep. Wow. A little over the top, perhaps. <laughs> A Lincoln. Wow. This would, I reckon, this would some, this would be something that Liberace would drive. <laughs> Wow. Amazing. Oh, this is sweet. An early Porsche. I have no idea. It's in the car driver's seat. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. A 1959 Thunderbird. That's this one here. Mm. An MG, my God, that's an early model MG. That was that sign back there. Hmm. Yeah, cool as that. Oh, you don't see these very often. Ha <laughs> Yeah. Oh, now we're getting into some good stuff. Look at this. A Bentley certainly is. Oh, and more. It's got a sunroof. Yep. This one belonged to Christopher Scase. We still like it though. <laughs> Despite that, yes. <laughs> the Daimler. Park yourself. Park yourself. Oh, yes. There you go.
And some Australian stuff. EJ. <laughs> yeah, certainly did. It's not what you drove. No, no, no. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> How simple are these things to work on under there, eh? Compared to today. You can set up home on either side of that motor. Yeah. A bus shelter. <laughs> really? Yep. W Beetle bus. Oh my god. Oh, look at this. Um. How is this? Different. And the surfboard. It's for the hippie in all of us. Oh, the P7, yeah, P76. We all have to own one of these. Wow. This is seriously original with the pop out windscreen. That was air conditioning. <laughs> Not HR. Yeah, HR wagon. There's a falcon. Ford Model T. Chevy. Wow. I don't think candy pink is the original colour. <laughs> And a U, a small U truck version. Oh yeah. Talk about basic. Olifex, the first one, and the FJ, that's a FJ Ute. A 
That's what my grandfather had, an EH wagon. Mm -hmm. That's the EH sedan. It's a sedan. Yeah, that's the sedan, that's the wagon. Remember the Tyrannas when they were out in these colours? And the Shagpile carpet. Where? Not in this one. Oh. But, yeah, you know, the colours. Amazing. The Willys. The Willys Jeep. Oh, I thought you were pointing at those. This would be the sort of bus you had from the train station. Yep. Oh, it would have been definitely. See, headlights on the, on the outside in the guards. This is really long. There's also an automatic. Just look. What? We haven't seen those in a long time. No, we haven't. That was my car. Yes. Gee. Yes. That's not the one you sold to Shane. Yes. Oh. The maroon one. Okay. I mean, not his, this exact car. <laughs> but yes. There you go. Who would have known? This is actually the VT. Mine was a VN, but it's exactly the same shape. Okay. So what was that one over there? They're both the same. I don't know. No, that's different again. That's a Ford. This is a Holden. This is oh. the V. Yeah, VT VN. Uh, yeah, they're all almost identical. Yeah. Old fire trucks. Wow. How the hell do you operate all this? Looks complicated. <laughs> yeah. And more up here. This is when you visit the depot. 
that you take away some of the history and learn some of the history, not from just a local area, but also transport in general. The Denver collection is not just all vehicles, of course, it's the memorabilia that we've collected over time, and also just the, uh, the way of life generally that uh, we reminisce about. One of the aims when we uh, created the depot was not only to display all the vehicles and memorabilia, but it was also to offer a location that the local transport vendors can... How cute is this? Thank you for visiting the depot today. We hope you've enjoyed your visit and hope you come back soon. The depot is an evolving process and we... Look. Sadly, we have some of these at home. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> what does that say about us? I said sadly. I wish I had the Kokoda Trail one. Hmm. All biscuit and lolly tins and stuff. A glimp of, glimpse of domestic life. Yeah. Look at this. Remember your Nana's furniture looking like this? Oh, <gasps> the wicker. Hey? Hey, over there, look at that. Yeah, and who else's mother had teaspoons, teaspoon collections like that? The, yes. Oh no, the tchotchkes. Oh, I know someone that's still got one of these. <laughs> Not filled with thimbles and tiny tea sets. <laughs> oh, well, we know where Mum's squirrel collection can go. That's it. And who remembers the Laminex kitchen table? Popular mechanics. The old house and garden. Do you remember Streets Ice Cream, oh sorry, Sunkissed Ice Cream coming in a tin can? No, I've never seen that before. No, neither have I. I do remember paper bags for supermarkets. Yeah, it's like Grandma's trolley and yes. Grandma's glass cocktail trolley. Wow. That high chair is so mm -hmm. uncomfortable. Oh, the fridge. It's not a coat. Yeah. Oh, wow. Before remote controls, it's colour. The flying ducks. And every home in the 60s and 70s had to have the flying ducks on the wall. Look at that television set. Oh my gosh. That's what television sets used to be like. Way before you were born. When we were the remote control. And you had a little thing like that with the ashtray attached. Everyone had a little table to put their telephone on their seat next to it. After. Yeah, because that's what people did. Before modern times. Remember landlines? Remember them? <laughs> You remember landlines. I remember reverse charges. Yes. Yeah, funny that. <laughs> and if you were really, really good, you'd get one of these pedal cars. Not plastic, mind you. Proper tin. <laughs> The Thunderbox, the great Australian dunny. Watch, watch out for the red backs under the toilet seat. <laughs> That's what scooters used to be. Yep. Real scooters. What about this airplane? Is that a pedal airplane? Yep. <laughs> I've never seen one of those before. And a hills hoist, a mini hills hoist for your doll's clothes. Oh, wow.
Oh, that's cute. And your tractor with a trailer. And your dolly's picnic. Did you have a tea set like that? No? This is just magnificent going back down memory lane.